Hey everyone, this is Tober with Haven Gaming. I'm going to be giving you guys a look at Dirty Bomb. Uh, right now we're just at the home screen uh, showing you a few things. You get three missions a day uh, that refresh every three hours. So you can do these three and then in three hours uh, you can turn around and do three more. So earning credits in this game isn't that bad. Uh, you can build them up pretty quick. As you can see here, I have 41,000. I just bought a character, so building them up goes pretty quick, so you can buy new characters. Um, in the barracks is where you set up your squad. You get a three-man squad. You can choose three of any characters that you like, uh, that you own. Uh, they also have three bonus characters that um, they change up. To me, it seems like every two to three weeks, sometimes a month. Um, so you do have plenty of options to choose from and while you build up your credits to where you can buy your own character. Each character is a different price, so uh, you can see some of the different prices on here. Uh, some are 30000 some are 50000 that's the main two differences. You can also use uh, cash from your Steam wallet to purchase the characters as well. Um, and when you start out you just get default loadouts, but you can uh, upgrade by trading up your cards that you earn or buy from cases uh, to go towards building up so you go from default to lead to iron to bronze to silver to gold to obsidian or uh, cobalt and you can get cases from matches so that's just random so sometimes you get a case sometimes you don't uh, you can also purchase stuff from the store, uh, like elite cases that give you a higher chance to get better cards. Um, you can also buy boosters to double the amount of credits that you get. So I'm going to go ahead and get in the game here and show you guys what it's like. They do have a quick join option. I tend to not use that because sometimes it'll put you in a match that has only one person. Now when you're in the server browser you have your option between right now they're doing a alpha test on execution um, it's 12 rounds, 2 minute rounds uh, and it's first to eliminate the opposing team or to destroy the the thing with your C4 the objective with your C4 or uh, if the other team defuses it they win uh, kinda like Counter Strike um, counter terrorist versus terrorist it's pretty much the same thing um, objective is pretty much the same as stopwatch except it's only one round uh, you either attack or defend stopwatch uh, you take your turn at each one round you attack one round you defend uh, and the whole goal is when you're attacking is to beat the other team's speed so or to go as quick as you can for completing the objectives uh, and if you get stopped from completing your objectives, if the other team, the other attacking team, when they get their turn, uh, if they destroy the objective that you weren't able to, they automatically win. So um, that's stopwatch. I prefer objective because they're quicker rounds. So I'm going to go ahead and join on a, a match here and show you what it's about. You can uh, join the session. It'll load. Um, I do recommend playing the game in borderless windowed mode sometimes there's an issue where the game will freeze uh, when you get to I'll show you here in a second when it's loading it'll give a little yellow bar across the bottom sometimes it says press any key um, sometimes if you're not in windowed mode it won't allow you to do that so I just always do like windowed full screen for that um, when you come into the middle of a match you have 15 second deploy time before you can get into the match so you'll just sit through that and I'll go ahead and play around and you can kind of see what the gameplay is like. So I'm playing as Aura right now. Uh, she's a medic. Uh, she has a medical station that she can do and she also revives people. Health station here! And shotguns are way too OP. If they get close to you, they will one-hit you. 
The only person it won't one hit, I believe, is Rhino. He's a tank. Light character. I'm gonna go ahead and start the C4 here. C4 planted and armed. Defend it. And I have no idea how I died there. Looks like a proxy put a mine right there. Now mind you, I'm not the greatest player, um, plus I'm just kind of getting started for the day. This is only my second match, so I still gotta get warmed up, so... I always have a two or three match warm-up phase. Another thing that's nice about this game is you can do a double jump off of walls. So you can jump and then jump again off the wall. And I have no idea why they're not diffusing. It looks like they all fell back. So I'm going to go ahead and let this blow up. That's always a good idea after you kill a character to try and kill them. Uh, main reason being is a medic can easily walk up there and revive them, which you don't want to happen. Health station deployed. Uh, what's n also nice is you can uh, pick up your deployables and it resets your cooldown. The one thing that I'm not too happy with about this game is when it comes to uh, there is no team fire, but when you shoot a friend, the bullets don't go through like it does on some other games, so you're kind of stuck with, if someone steps in front of you, you're probably going to lose the kill. Otherwise, it's a fairly good game. I've been enjoying it. I've got like 60 hours in it so far. Have a med pack. Don't let them defuse it. I'm reloading. Let me see, we have to push back pretty good. Get out of and you do run out of ammo pretty quick, so. I'm changing mag. Um, there are classes that can give you ammo. I think I have one on my team, so I'm kind of stuck with what I have. Does anybody have ammo? Deliver the bloody objective. Objective destroyed. Good work. I do know where there is some ammo, so I'm gonna run down here and pick it up real quick. Um, there's these little ammo caches around here that you can pick up ammo from. They come in handy if you don't have anyone that can give you ammo on your team. Um, so you usually have, in this style maps, you have two areas where you have to plant C4 and blow it up and then you have these things here that you have to pick up and deliver which I expected that that was horrible and now I know there's a person down there I tend to try and get a little sneaky here. They have what sounds to be a heavy. Deliver the bloody objective. I'm reloading. 
We have the objective. Give me some cover, guys. I'm delivering. Deliver the bloody objective. Objective delivered. I don't want that on a cooldown. Sometimes I have to put it by the door up here. Apparently I'm the only one on my team delivering objectives, so... We have the objective! I will do the same thing. I've got the objective, I'm gonna try and put it in. Hopefully you guys can give me some cover. That's that's the match. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, again, this is Tober with Haven Gaming. Uh, you should be seeing more from us, so enjoy.